time. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Scrap Mechanic. Now I thought that we could make this series a little bit different. Still going to be a let's build and with each episode I'm hoping to get like kind of a tutorial in there just to teach you guys a little bit more about this game and you know some simple tips and tricks that I learned myself as playing it. But rather than it being like an episode where I do a bike or a car and never seen it again, I'm going to be sticking to one world. Everything I'm going to make, I'm going to try and keep together. That way, when we improve at the game, we can see our old creations and we can compare them. And if this is the case, a which it is going to be, then I first wanted to build a house for our little Jack Black looking fellow. And after looking around a while, I found this nice little place up on a hill and it was time to lay the foundation. Once I got started, I realised that it was going to be a lot bigger than what I initially thought. But further I went with it, the more I thought, actually I could turn this probably into a basement. Once the foundation was down, it didn't look bad, but it did look really plain. Now if you played this game before, you will know that there isn't really many building blocks to make a house look good. But I was up for the challenge. I counted how many blocks there were so I could figure out how to make it look somewhat decent. After counting I started putting in some pillars to add a bit of depth to the wall. After messing it up quite a few times because I counted wrong, I finally got the number of pillars that I wanted, making the side ones a bit bigger as I had other plans for the middle. Now the pillars were in place, it was time to add some stairs to the top of the foundation as that's where the main floor would actually be. The stairs didn't really help with how flat and plain the wall looked, especially at the sides, so I tried adding some pillars to the stairs, but that didn't really work. So... I forgot about the stairs and moved back to the walls, added some extra blocks on top of the pillars just to give it a bit more of a roundness and again it added a bit more depth. Already the walls were starting to improve. They were still looking pretty plain though and I didn't fully like it. I mean it was okay but I wanted it looking you know, a bit better. I added a few more blocks just to try and spark some inspiration into my brain and after doing this I kind of got an idea. What this wall needed was more pillars. I gave it kind of a circular top, again just to add a bit of style. Then it was time back to work on the stairs. I started by removing a layer of the bricks and putting it one block in. Again this added, yes I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true but depth. I mirrored the circular design from the other side of the wall and then mirrored that again on the bottom part and I decided to add an extra line of blocks in the middle just to split the wall up a bit more which I actually think worked out really well. Back to the stairs I wanted to add a barrier just to prevent people from falling off so I added just an extra layer on top of the edges which gave me this effect quite well. Also it helped them from looking so flat and more realistic I guess you could say. Once this was done the front of the house was pretty much complete and I really liked how this turned out. I removed some of the blocks at the top of the stairs and replaced them with the wooden block and seeing this colour gave me a good idea. I swapped the bricks that was under the stairs with wood. This changing colour gave it a really nice contrast and made it break up the grey quite a bit. Now that I'd used the wood, I really didn't want to stop, so I started to replace some more of the stone bricks that was behind the pillars on the wall, just to try and get away from all the grey that the building had become. I did this for both sides, and I was actually really happy with how the building looked. Now the foundation was looking rather good, I wanted a nice entrance to this place, I wanted some sliding doors. If you don't know how sliding doors are made in this game, then this is the tutorial bit of the video, I guess. I started with a bearing at the bottom of these bricks, and I connected some wood. You can use whatever material you want. I just used wood because it was on my hotbar. And I kept my blocks at four because that's as long as I needed it. I didn't need it any longer. If you do, then just add a few more blocks. Then from the top of that, I attached another bearing and some more wood right down to the floor. And then another bearing at the bottom. And again, a bit more wood just laying it against the floor this time. Then it was time to connect everything up. I connected each bearing to the connector that I placed down earlier. And I connected them in the order that I placed them just to make it a bit easier. I set the first and third bearing to 90 degrees clockwise and the second bearing to minus 180. And this allows the, I guess you could say, like kind of a piston effect. This pushes the bottom um, wood just straight across the floor. And this is what we needed to attach the door to. So I wanted this just to slide through the gap but not all the way because then at the end I'd attach the door to it and it did fit perfectly in the gap. So as you can see it's super easy and it's super simple to make a sliding door and I repeat this process on the other side and connected it to the same connector 
and this way from one switch it makes both doors come inwards and that is how the doors are done. Now the entrance was complete it was time to fill up the rest of the walls. Once I placed the wall all the way down to the end it was time to add a bit more detail like last time, it was time to add more pillars and some more lines and I was really happy with how this house was turning out from what just started as a big grey square was slowly turning into a nice looking home. After making the walls a little bit taller I decided on curving the pillars. The more I was adding to this house, the better it was starting to look in my opinion. And after adding more pillars that attached from the stairs to the top, I stood back to take a look and it was beginning to have kind of like a castle-ish kind of feeling. And I really liked what it was becoming. In the deep parts of the walls, I changed them to wood, again to break up some of the grey, which continued to add the grand kind of look I was going for. Anyway guys, that's all I got up to, so hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of a Let's Build Scrap Mechanic, and next time we'll be continuing with the house, we'll work on the inside and hopefully add in a lift. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like, and also don't forget to comment on the stuff that you do want to see in the future episodes, but for now it is peace out and bye!